So when we add effects to vocals, it's very straightforward in Reaper. We just go into the effects button here on the channel that we're working on, and we can add effects here. And this works great if you're adding compression, reverb, modulation, those types of effects, EQ. But when we want to add delay to a vocal, it's slightly different because delay can cloud up the mix a lot. I'll show you what I mean. So I've just added the delay here to the effects channel, so it's always on. And that doesn't sound great because the delay is echoing every single word of the vocals. What we want to do is automate the delay in and out so that it only affects certain words or certain phrases within the vocals. So just to simplify things, I've got a blank track here and it's just got a single vocal on it. So let's hear that. Just a bare reflection I never really knew so let's say, for example, we decided we just want the, the word new here at the end. Really new. So it's just here. New. Okay, so what we'd want to do first is make a new track for the delay through. And on that, we want to put some delay in. So we're going to use this free delay plugin. You can use any delay plugin you want. Set the time so that it's set to the tempo of the track. And let's set it at half. We want to keep it completely wet and turn off the dry 100% because you're going to already hear the dry coming from the original vocal. This is only going to be the delay sound here. And feedback. Let's set it for now so that we only get one echo so that we can hear exactly what's happening. Now that I've got my delay set up in a separate track, we can rename this so that we know what's going on. We can drag the route button from here on our original vocal track and drag it into this. Now this sets up a bus that's feeding the vocal track into this new track that has the delay on it. Which means now we can hear that we get that echo and it's on all the time. So what we want to do now is automate when the vocals go out to the delay and when they don't. We can click on this trim button here and we can see delay through, send volume, send pan and send mute. Let's try mute for now. If we play... We can hear that the delay's on. So let's turn it off by pulling this right down to the bottom. To remember. Now, that's the line where we want it. So I'm holding down shift here and clicking. Let's get this delay out of the way for one second. And at the end of the note again, if we play this phrase, the word try will be the only thing that actually echoes. Never really knew. And we could try the same thing with remember. 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 Okay. And what we're also noticing here now is that the delay is very, very loud. So if we pull up the mixer, we can see the volume for our delay through here. So let's turn it down until we're happy with the mix. Try to remember. But you walk in through me now. Try And that's how we do it. Now you can set up a delay through for quarter notes. You can set up a delay through for half notes and whole notes and as many different delays as you want to get all different effects. And the, the one last thing we could do is we could add some feedback to it so that it echoes more than once. Let's try that. Try to remember, but you and let's try it as a quarter note. Okay, and that's it. That's how we do delay throws in Reaper.